We're digging in with Trip today, yeah. Let's do rapid fire. Uh, this is the first time that we've done this, Kenny. So you well, I'm are- the, I'm, the, I'm the guinea pig. You are the guinea pig. It's, um, it's presented by Audio 627, which uh, if you have a chance on Instagram, you dig in fans, follow at Adios, A-D-I-O-S 627. It is the fastest vessel on the water. It is a hydrosport beauty. It is pure America. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the digging in hats that is headed to Kenny Albert is the Patriot. And I look red, white, to and blue. It. Yep. Red, white, and blue. So our first session of rapid fire brought to you by at Adios 627 fastest nautical vessel on any body of water. All right, Kenny, let's do it. We're going to start with what's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. Okay. Your favorite book? Favorite book. You know, in our profession trip, and this isn't rapid fire, there's so much reading that we have to do. I probably read the equivalent of 10 books a week with all the newspaper clips and on the iPad and on websites. So I haven't read a, a, a full book in a while, but I read the equivalent of about 10 books per week. That is a satisfactory answer here on Rapid Fire because I, I think based on your preparation, you could be called Kenny Pulitzer. Okay, well, that takes me out of my next question. My next question was going to be, well, well, no, no, this still qualifies. What was the last good book you read? Uh, I'm reading one now uh, written by uh, one of the former heads of the FBI. So I'm, I'm getting through that one. Um, I'm thinking about writing a book. Uh, with some of the stories that I've told over the last, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour with you. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll come to fruition in the next couple of years. Well, my mom's a voracious reader and uh, you and my mom became great friends in a Washington Carolina playoff series. So she will definitely read that if you put the pen to paper and write that book. Uh, favorite TV show, Kenny? I was a big fan of Prison Break about five years ago. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, of course, back in the day, Seinfeld was certainly a favorite, but uh, recently it was Prison Break. Yeah. Boy, I'm, I'm hanging out with my mom here in Michigan, and we are struggling because we've watched every movie and show. <laughs> and she hasn't seen Prison Break. You just gave me a great idea because I've seen it, especially the first season. Absolutely tremendous. Love the first and, season. Oh, the first season was the best. I, I would argue it fell off a little bit after that. First season was ripping. I heard they're making a comeback, too. Oh, that's good to hear. Okay. Actually, what? number one, though, is Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's number oh, that, one on my all-time list. That's strong. You were buying time between Prison Break and Seinfeld to get to Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm is number one <laughs> all-time, for sure. Okay. You're doing quite well so far. At, at nearly the halfway point of Rapid Fire. What TV or movie character are you like? Uh, wow, that's a good one. Some people say, used to say that I looked a little bit like Jerry Seinfeld. I'm not sure I agree with that, but if you look at pictures from about 20 or 25 years ago, you might see a bit of a resemblance. I was also, I, I was also <laughs> mistaken. He wasn't a uh, TV show character, but I, I've been mistaken a couple of times for Pat LaFontaine as well. Oh, you, you know what? You do look like a little bit like Jerry and, and Pat LaFontaine, another Michigan native right up the road. Yeah, those, those are the two people I've been mistaken for at times. Yeah, me. I've been mistaken for Barney Rubble from the <laughs> Flintstones. Um, I was a big fan of Barney. <laughs> Barney, salt of the earth, good guy. Absolutely. Uh, best sports movie? You know, I think we all venture back to uh, Slapshot, right? Riding the bus in the, in the minor leagues. There have, been, there have been a number of them. Field of Dreams certainly comes to mind. Um, Slapshot as well, Miracle. Recap yep. the 1980 Olympic team. So I'll, I'll have to go with, uh, with one of those. All excellent selections. I think just a, a quick retort is she just passed away, Kelly Preston, for the love of the game, a very underrated Absolutely. sports movie. Uh, God rest your soul, Kelly Preston. Uh, if you could change one thing about yourself, Kenny, what would it be? Better slap shot. 
you scored the first goal in NYU history with Weak the wrister. <laughs> Weak <laughs> <We're> wrister. Doing... <laughs> I've always thought the wrister is the silent assassin. I could never take a slap shot, even in warm-ups. Okay, so you change your slap shot. I change my metabolism, speed it back up, put it back on the Audubon. Um, your favorite – I was an American history major, so I asked this question just for my own curiosity. Your favorite president ever. I met uh, George H.W. Bush. In fact, one of the pictures behind me uh, is from the Oval Office. So from personal experience, I just remember how nice he was, welcoming. It was when my father was working for the uh, – doing the NBC baseball pregame show, and he actually interviewed – uh, our 41st president. And uh, again, just going from personal experience, uh, I'll mention him because he was so uh, kind to us when we were in the Oval Office. Very cool. And mine, actually, there are many. I'm a big Ronald Reagan fan, FDR. George W. Bush, based on, I'll never forget at Yankee Stadium, him throwing that strike after 9-11. Um, and Rod Brindham was spoke about his personal encounter with him, with Jim Rutherford, um, just those guys, you know, at the White House. So Right, so I'm George, going off a personal encounter as well. Yeah, and I'm going George W. Bush based on decency and character. Um, salt of the earth character. I didn't think he was the greatest president, but based on those things, he's right smack dab deep in my heart. Um, if, boy, you've called so many, partner. If you could call any game or event, anyone, and knowing you, you're going to, but this is rapid fire. You can only give me one answer. What would it be? A game that's already been played or a game in the future? Okay, pull out the crystal ball, become Nostradamus. Any game in the future. Wow. It would have to be, and I know you only want one, but <laughs> I'm going to go. And, and, and I mentioned earlier, and I know I'm obliterating what's supposed to be rapid fire here, but I did call one Super Bowl for the world feed, the international yeah. feed, and I've called Stanley Cup final games on radio, uh, eight different series. But um, personally, it would have to be, you know, a combination Super Bowl slash Stanley Cup final on the TV side. Hang on. Let me go to the judges. Mom, he gave two answers in rapid Well, she likes you. So she's – Did I only get a 7.5 seven nice. on that one? She, no, she's agreeing. She says, it, 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 those are extenuating circumstances. You have not violated the agreement of rapid fire. Perfect. Okay, a couple more. You and I are both foodies. Favorite restaurant. And this one, I'm holding you to one. Prime 112, Fav South Yeah. Okay, okay. Favorite restaurant. Anyway, okay, a future dig-in guest. Miles. Boy, what a story. You know, was, was working up in New York. He's from... Pennsylvania. You're a personal friend of Miles. I was just down there with him. He just celebrated his birthday. Why? Why is Prime 112 your favorite? Miles, I think, is the greatest restaurant tour in the country. I just love the food there. I think the more people you're with, the better, because you can order all of the various side dishes and share. It's just a tremendous meal. And if you're looking for a number two, Nobu, in New York in particular, but I know there are uh, many around the country, but I'll, I'll put Nobu second on the list, but Prime 112 at the top for sure. I assume the Nobu Midtown location? Midtown location is the one we usually head to. Yeah, I've dug in there a few times, and there may or may not have been sake involved. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> Kenny, you're such a great citizen. It's never going to come to this. But if you were going to the electric chair, <laughs> what do you think you'd order for your last meal? Probably pepperoni pizza. If I, couldn't get, if I couldn't get a meal from Prime 112 or Nobu, pepperoni pie. Oh, I would, I would have to think Death Row would be able to, you know, it's your last meal. They could probably get Miles would make it happen. Miles would make it happen. Prime 112 would find a way to get it to you uh, and savor that taste for the last time. <laughs> Might Kenny? also weigh 10 more pounds than before the meal. Why would it matter? You're going gone. So Wouldn't the matter. Next day. <laughs> Wouldn't matter. Kenny, thank you. You have survived the first edition, my original guinea pig of rapid fire. How'd you feel about it? I felt good. I know you probably felt like some of the answers were way too long in rapid fire. I did not uh, take the meaning of rapid fire literally, but uh, 
Hopefully you enjoyed some of the responses. We're digging in with Trip today, yeah. Today, yeah. Today, yeah. Today, 